Joe Biden has said he's interested in fighting climate change. Charlie Jang from Greenpeace is trying to hold his feet to the fire. Check this out. Leave the comment. Leave your comments. Ding the bell. Share it with your friends and subscribe to our channel. So how is the Democratic platform going to shake out, particularly as it comes to climate? Greenpeace USA, uh, greenpeace.org slash USA has been working on the Democrats and on the platform, uh, the people on the platform committee trying to get some some, uh, you know, some good stuff in there. Charlie Jiang is with us. Uh, Charlie is a climate campaigner with Greenpeace USA fighting for the Green New Deal. Charlie, welcome to the program. Tell us about the uh, conversations and efforts you are undertaking to influence the uh, fate and future of the Democratic platform here. Yeah, thanks for having me, Tom. Um, well, Greenpeace has been you know, fighting for a long time to ensure that elected officials take bold ambitious and, and just action to address you know, not just the climate crises, but all the crises we face together. Um, so we have been, you know, pressuring uh, presidential candidates all up and down um, the past <laughs> the past year uh, to include a really strong position on tackling um, the climate crisis with a Green New Deal and with a plan to ensure managed phase out of fossil fuel production. Uh, the latest, you know, DNC Climate Crisis Council platform uh, represents a, a pretty solid uh, win in my in my view um, for how the baseline for action from, you know, from even uh, the Democratic Party has shifted dramatically in the last year. So uh, we don't have a vice presidential candidate yet. I'm assuming that that person, you know, if if Joe Biden picks somebody who is um, well, we just use conventional terms, moderate, you know, if, if he picks an Amy Klobuchar, although she's taken herself out of the race, but, you know, somebody, somebody like her, um, I would think that that would have influence on the pl platform versus his picking somebody who is more progressive. Um, what, or, or do you think that that, that those processes are independent or, are you know, and, and, and when, I believe the platform finally gets ratified at the convention, but at what point in the process does the DNC or the, the platform committee say, okay, this is pretty much our final draft. This is what we're going to take to the convention. Well, the, the DNC has announced their platform drafting committee, and now Greenpeace obviously is not a Democratic Party organization, so we are you know, pushing from the outside. We're not endorsing candidates. We're not endorsing the DNC in this case. Um, so we are really encouraging, you know, the Democratic Party, elected officials and candidates, including Biden, to adopt as many of these really strong um, policy frameworks as possible, um, whether through the platform process or through, you know, through Biden's own continued efforts to engage with um, the climate community um, and, and release stronger plans. Are you getting pushback or are you getting enthusiasm? What sort of response are you experiencing? I'd say from, from, from Vice President Biden, you know, we've definitely uh, seen that he needs to win over young voters. He needs to win over people of color who are really concerned about the climate crisis and about the ways that systemic racism and now the COVID crisis are accelerating all, all the challenges our communities face. So, you know, I, I think we are seeing promising signs that a Biden administration would really prioritize climate action on day one. But we need to keep up the pressure. You know, we need to ensure that they continue to see that voters are demanding this sort of action uh, from our next president. Yeah. Um, well, it's it's a good step. Char we're talking with Charlie Jang, a cam climate campaigner with Greenpeace USA. Uh, uh, final question, Charlie. Uh, how can people who want to ally themselves with Greenpeace uh, participate in this progress uh, process or or help it? Or you know, what can what can the average person do to to help encourage the Democratic Party to embrace things like the Green New Deal? Yeah, I'd, I'd say there are so many ways. I mean, you know, the first is is to be uh, to be vocal with uh, with elected officials, with candidates, um, you know, with uh, with members of Congress. Many members of Congress are part of the you know both parties, right party or, um, operations. So um, we just need our our politicians to hear from people, whether that's calling emailing or tweeting about the kinds of actions you want them to take. Um, and of course, uh, making sure that we 
get everyone to the polls in November uh, or ensure everyone can vote safely by mail. Uh, we're going to need to continue to yeah, make our voices heard, um, you know, both in the public forums that we have available to us and at the ballot box.